So now let's see how we can further work with tracks, rename tracks, insert and remove tracks inside of Camtasia. So over here, you can see that there's only one track right here. And what I can do is I can resize this track just like this. I can also go over here and this is the adjustment of all tracks. So I can actually zoom it in or zoom out just like this as per what I need. I can go around over here and let's say, for example, if I were to go and pick up some object and bring it out over here onto the top, you can see that it comes out as a clip. That means if I were to go and work around with the playhead, I go onto the left side, you can see that this uh, track is visible just like this. But if I were to stra uh, drag my playhead around and right around this point, it disappears. That is because the length of this track is just still there. If I were to increase this out, that is pull this out, so static, tra uh, static tracks like logos and everything else can be pulled out just like this. And you can have multiple tracks just like this, as you can see. So you can just bring out multiple tracks and stack them all up together just like that. And the tracks are automatically added as per you need. Uh, so just like this, you can work around and have as many tracks as you want. You can go around here, zoom in the track, zoom out from the track just like this. And if you want to zoom in a particular track, in, in case, uh, let's say, for example, you want to work around just with track one, then you can just pull this out and see its audio waves and everything else just like this. So that is how you can work around with these tracks right here. Similarly, what you can do is now there are multiple tracks just like that. So let's say I want to uh, uh, rename some of the track. Let's say this is my main footers. I want to rename the track so that it's easier to work around with it. I can simply go over here and double click on the track and I can delete this out just like this. I can hit the delete key and say this is the uh, screen recording just like this. I'm just going to type in screen recording, press enter and the uh, track has been renamed out just like that. So this is the screen recording as you can see and over here I can say this is something like logo all right logo and then maybe this is something like text or audio so you can simply go around and rename these tracks out because you might have a lot of tracks if you want to add in a blank track for some reason then you can go around here right click and over here you have an option to insert the track so let's say for example if you want to insert a track above you simply click on above right here and a blank track has been added. You can also go over here, right click, insert the track below the track just like this and there's a track below. The order of the track is very important as well. So right now you can see that there is this track right here and this track is uh, at the top and it's blocking out everything. It's kind of like layers in other applications like Photoshop's. So the, uh, the track which is at the top blocks out the one which is beneath. So if I were to go over here and let's say, for example, bring this beneath, now you can see that this is below the ABC, that is the call out track right here, and this is at the top. Similarly, what you can do is you can move out the track up and down. So you can right click on the logo, let's say, for example, and you want to move out the entire track above, you can go around on to move track and go, um, uh, go and click up just like this. And now you can see that the entire track is up. Right click again, go around to move track and click on up and that goes above just like that as you can see. So that's how you can uh, work out with the tracks as well. You can also add in more tracks so you can add in, let's say, uh, for example, insert track below and so forth. And as you're working with it, there may be a lot of empty tracks that you want to remove. And there's an easy way to do that. You can simply right click and click on remove all empty tracks and all the tracks which are empty will be removed out which uh, clears out the your working space. You can also right click and then remove a particular track. Let's say for example, I want to remove this track. I can simply right click and click on remove track. And it asks you because there's a media on it, simply press yes and the track will be removed out. You can right click and over here, you can see there's other options as well. And this is something that we'll be seeing in further lessons. And those are the ways with which you can further work with tracks. That is work with tracks, rename tracks, insert and remove tracks inside of Camtasia. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.